Hi, this is Sherry Veronica, and this is a matter that I blogged on maybe years ago, but I'll bring it up again because it started floating around in my blog again. It is about David Giddens from Inch Marlow. When he died, he left his scent of death behind him because although he had recently married his longtime love, Diana, he, it was not sh clear where his property should go and who inherited the property and what should be done. Everything was unclear to her, to his neighbor. It seemed clear because the neighbor, a white man, David Giddens was a white man. Diana is a black female. When he died, his neighbor came up with paperwork saying he owned all the property. And yet Diana, as the wife of David, wasn't sure of her footing. And Douglas Trotman took a whole lot of her money. Well, he too has gone to the grave, you know, you know, Warren um, Motley also represented her for a short while. But David's death has left a hole that should not have been. It should have been very straightforward. She was married to him. It should have been, you know, um, I'm here to, you know, succeed from my husband. I'm here to inherit from my husband. You know, I'm the sole beneficiary of my husband, but it didn't work out that way. It has not worked out that way. Seeing what just came in my blog, I can see that it still continues. It is still continuing the guy that has paperwork saying that he owns the property is trying to evict Diana. He's trying to assert his, his rights, whether Diana may think that the rights may be ill gotten or whatever. The guy who has paperwork on the property and has put a whole lot of money in the property for its upkeep and for you know business purposes he wants to take over the entire thing and whereas diana has an apartment a place that she can live within the complex he wants her gone that's what i'm seeing here from what just came to me in my blog now like I said, sometimes when you marry and you think that you've accomplished something, I keep saying you need to, whatever you want to have, you need to work for it and attain it on your own strength, on your own smoke, on your own steam, on your own everything. Whatever you have, you must work for. You cannot for one moment think that a marriage is going to insulate you and protect you and you are going to inherit wealth and, and you know, fortune and fame or what. You cannot assume that because even if you did inherit something, even if you did, will you enjoy it? Will you spend it? Will you waste it? I have a feeling that David Gittins did not trust his own wife with his property. He did not trust that she would be able to take it where it should go. He didn't think, in my opinion, my opinion, I think that David did not think that Diana had the wherewithal to upkeep the property. But the person who says that he is the owner, a white man, I think that David thought that the property would have been better placed in that person's hands because that person did put a, of a tremendous amount of property of money into the property while David was alive. The person was upkeeping and building on to the property. And I feel that David felt safer leaving the earth and having his property placed in that person's hands, as opposed to his wife, who is a hairdresser and probably wasn't making a whole lot of money. But then again, you could ask, you know, about Zed, if he was making a lot of money, no, no one knows what's going on. But what is going on is there's a whole lot of anger, a whole lot of betrayal of trust, a whole lot of whatever you want to call it. It's unsettling because Diana is living in a place that was owned by her husband and she doesn't feel 
happy. She doesn't feel at home. She doesn't feel safe because there's always someone trying to get her out. So ladies, again, ladies, whatever you have, whatever you have, make sure that you have worked for it. Make sure you keep your money in your hands. Make sure you keep your money in your hands. Do not lend anyone your money. Do not give anyone your money. In, in, in these particular instances, it's good to be selfish. It's good to be selfish because we are an endangered species and we have to look out for ourselves. This is Sherry Veronica.